Okay, I'm losing light. So I'm gonna do this quick. What did I get today, Saturday? Eh, I went shopping and believe it or not, I only spent like 25 bucks. I went to four sales. If you like live hunting and just Marie and Marie talking about what's going on, what we're buying, check my other YouTube channel. Uh, so I'm gonna resell I'm gonna post uh, some of the live hunting videos there anyway. Um, first sale I went to, bought a Mario Kart game for the Wii. Spent five bucks. Um, I expect to sell at 15 to 20 bucks very easily. Here's a Ra Raul Zuniga Owl. I bought this and this cologne, uh, Shiseido Bravas After Lotion Bons Boski Spicy Floral. This is a Japanese scent. Um, I believe. It looks Japanese to me. Okay, I think this is worth at least 25 bucks. It's not full. I think it's worth 25 bucks. This should be worth 20 to 30 dollars at least. Um, I already said 15. We bought this this uh, roller skate key, for like a dollar, I think. I think we spent 25, 26. Um, probably the I'm not gonna say the best thing I got because if you add it up, I spent 25 or 26 dollars. Uh, what do I think I'm gonna make for the 25 or 26 dollars? This should be at least. Okay, um, I got these Tonka trucks in box. On eBay, they sell like 12 bucks a piece, which means I'm gonna sell them at the flea market, solid $5. Uh, solid $5 at least to start off with, right? Um, maybe less as time goes by, but I have 12, so 60, I'm gonna say 50 bucks here. I'm gonna say 25, I'm gonna say 25, uh, and I'm gonna say 20, you know, for that. So that's uh, 50, 100, 120. So I spent maybe a little bit more for either of those. And this is a gift. It has a crack in it. But uh, we have a friend that, that sells honey. He likes honey stuff. And with these, I got assorted ones. And as you can see, I, I paid 15 for all because he gave me a deal. I got 12 of them. And they're Maestro International. I have cranes. I have a dump trucks, I think. Dump truck. And I think I have um, a backhoe, mm, crane, whatever. So that's that. Like I said, I'm losing the light. So spent 25 or 26, and I think I have at least 120 dollars there. Um, now this is this will be part of a a second video. So ending here, I'm going to keep this together for the one video that I show on secondhand days, so you can tell what I got today. Oh, by the way, tomorrow um, I'm going to be at the Wayne Pal. If you want to come see me, all right. Uh, if you want to come see me at the Wayne Pal, be there. Uh, you can catch me outside. All right. I won't be outside, though. I'll be inside. That's the catch me outside girl. Says that I thought it'd be whatever. Okay, I did that. And now I'm going to start here. Okay, this is stuff I got for helping at an estate sale for free. I didn't pay for any of this stuff. Is there amazing stuff? No, this is the last day of the sale. So I just was like, I just filled the box. I was like, hey, I'm gonna take this stuff. They're like, fine. Um, not bad stuff. No, I didn't know about these. All right, so anyway, these are curtain tie backs. There's one, two, three, four. These are kind of stabby, so I have to be careful. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm actually not using my phone. I normally use my phone. Thirteen. I use my. Um, I'm using my new camera. I spent two hundred bucks on it. Uh, what? Fourteen, fifteen. Looks like twenty. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. What they do with these is they stick them. Um, into the wall, and they hold the curtains when you when you pull them back. You know, instead of using um, like long curtains. All right, all right. So we got that. I don't know exactly what this box is worth, but if they're if they're worth a couple of bucks a piece, I'm gonna say there's twenty to maybe. I mean, they're worth more, <clears throat> but I don't know how she's gonna sell it on eBay. So I'm gonna say there's at least twenty dollars worth of stuff there. Most likely um, forty. All right. I got this drill. Um, am I gonna sell this drill? No, uh, but it does work, and I need a drill for the store. We're gonna be drilling stuff in the store. Got this jacket. 
So if I bought this at a yard sale, I'd pay 10 bucks no more. So say there's like at least $30 worth of stuff. Got this jacket. Uh, if my daughter likes it, she can have it. It's gonna be good for knocking around in the city. It's a spring jacket uh, for when she doesn't care what she's, um, what's going on or what she's looking at. It's just a very utilitarian jacket. It's, it's good for like light rain and stuff like that. So I'll say five bucks worth of stuff, 35. This is like one of those little pilgrim or Viking things. I, I'm, I'd sell it for like three bucks. Um, this is like an oil. Like, you never see the Wizard of Oz or anything like that. This is, I probably sell for five bucks. Look, see, oil. Uh, it's probably worth maybe 10, 15. I bought another one yesterday. Uh, actually, I didn't buy it. I took another one yesterday. So, I'll just say five bucks. So, uh, what do I got? 20, 35, 40 bucks worth of stuff there. Um, this isn't for me. This Marie has to give to them because this is an advertising shoe. They have other advertising shoes, so that's zero bucks. Got these canning jars. Well, I add that to that. If I had to buy these, I'd pay like two bucks a piece. My daughter uses this. She makes instant oatmeal in the morning. So, what was that? Like, ugh, let's see. 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 dollars worth of stuff, say. But the stopper. Uh, this goes to either some kind of Blanco vase or something like that. I can probably sell this stopper online. 10 to 20 bucks, as long as it doesn't have a crack. The reason I, I took it from the vase was the vase, vase was damaged. They threw it away. I kept the stopper. I want to say 15 bucks. So, what was it? 50, 65. This is for my daughter. 67. Um, this is cool. Let's see if I can get this. Seven. This is just stuff that, for helping out. You know, this isn't great stuff. I like the, this vase, um, I'm, but I'm gonna say like five bucks, because I don't know who made it yet. So, uh, 72. Um, this, I never had this one. I'm gonna try and clean it up a little bit. Because it's got some kind of powdery stuff, unless that's the way it is. But it's, it's a cologne. I didn't realize that. Four fluid ounce, it's called Nuts and Bolts. Made by someone I don't recognize. Let me see, I'll show it there, see if you can figure it out. Bottle. I'm not wearing really great glasses, so Boston, Massachusetts, distributed by the Colton Company. All right, anybody hear that? I'm gonna say it's worth at least 20, 25 bucks. So what was that up to? I'll just say 65, 70, 80, 90 bucks. All right. Here's an Abington vase. Nothing special about it. I'm gonna say I can get 10 bucks for this. So it's 105. I thought this was pretty cool. I'm going to plug it in if it works. I'll look it up uh, on eBay, but I'm sure it's not worth anything. So, I'll stick it 105. Now, these things, I saw these at the sale yesterday. Nobody bought them. Nobody was interested in them. But I was like, ah, who makes these? Does, does Blanco make these? And basically what they do is they take a glass. They fill it with these, these little bits of broken sea glass kind of stuff, you know. And you can hear it rattles, right? And then they put a, vo put a votive in there and they kind of glue it all in, you know, not all the way down, because see, the bottom it's rattling, right? They glue it in, and I was like looking at these, I'm like, who makes these, who makes, I know somebody, I know they make it, and I'm like, is it Blanco? I don't really know, blah, 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 right? So here, here's another one, this one has like green beads, and you can see the top doesn't move around, so they kind of glue it in, so I got two, right? And I think, I don't think any of them match, let me just get down here. Yeah, they don't really match. This one has small ones. This one has bigger ones. See that one too. Could be. I uh, could use a cleaning. I'll try and clean it a little bit. You know, this one has bigger ones, so it's not quite as even on the top. Um, but I found these three, and I was like, these are cool. I kept putting them around. Nobody would. Nobody was buying them. So it was the end of the sale, right? So I said, oops. What's this? Look at this. It's dripping oil. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to just make sure I don't get oil on everything with that. All right, you know what? Here. There. So, who cares? All right. So then I'm downstairs. I'm rooting around, and I find this P 
Pilgrim. That's who makes it. Pilgrim glass. Now, I haven't found it yet. At first, and I was doing a research. I'm like Viking. In my head, I'm thinking Viking. But it's Pilgrim. I was doing a research. I can't find it. Now, I'm assuming these are worth at least 10 bucks a piece, right? So, uh, what was I at? 100 I'm going to say I got $100, $150 worth of stuff that I can sell. Um, now, if these sell online for more, that would be great, right? But I'm, there's... I'm, Unless these sell for like 30 bucks a piece, and I can lot these four for 100, I'm probably, I probably will not put them in line because shipping will be like 25 or 30 bucks. Easy. So even 170 eBay fees on 100 is at least 15. So that's 30, 45 dollars down, 50 bucks. I'd rather just put them um, in my showcase for 10 bucks. Anyway, that's what I got for helping out. And uh, you, if you hang out, you'll see some of me helping out and just the people at the sale and me rooting around, trying to decide if I want anything at that sale in the video. Uh, again, if you want to catch me, I will be at Wayne Powell tomorrow. Uh, subscribe to my friends. All right. Bye.